so I was listening to Coach Greg Adams' live stream. Actually, <laughs> he wrenched me. Uh, so I was doing a little bit of mod work there and listening in. And, and the thought occurred to me. Now, I've known some young, you know, single uh, women. You know, my daughter at one time was young and she was single. And you go over to their apartment and there'd be two boxes of ramen noodles up in the cupboard and maybe a frozen pizza and nothing in the fridge. Maybe a, a bottle of milk or maybe a slice of cheese, that kind of thing. Not much, right? So my guess would be the young women who are so used to going out on dates and getting free meals. Now, wait a minute. Hamster, why are you so cynical about women? You know that's not true. Women don't do that. If you don't believe women don't go out on dates to get free meals, uh, who is the delusional one? Of course they do. I mean, there, 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 there is no reason a young female who's moderately attractive is ever alone. Certainly not every date she goes out on is because she loves me. They're going out to have fun and, and get some drinks and whatever. Hey, I get it. Go to a concert, that kind of thing. So now we have all the restaurants closed. You can't go out. And dating, you know, forget about it. Unless, you know, you're going to her place and she might say, hey, could you bring over some ramen noodles or something? And mo uh, <laughs> I think a lot of guys are going, uh, what? You, you can't buy food for yourself? Of course, they'll never admit it. Well, you know, I just had my friends over. We had a big party. We ate up all the ramen noodles. Could you please? Could you bring some peanut butter and some toilet paper? Could you? How about some coffee? And, oh, bring some liquor. And, and I want the... You go look at a lot of single women's cupboards. They are bare. Like the college girls. Yeah, they'll have a little fridge in their dorm room. And when mom comes down to visit, she'll bring a bag of groceries. They'll throw it in there. And a lot of it will probably go rotten because they, <laughs> they don't need to go to the fridge to get food. They just got to dial up and say, oh, yeah, you, you, you still want to go out on Thursday? I would love to go to this new restaurant in town. I hear it's really good. That's not happening now. Now there's food delivery. At least here in Denver, you can still get pizzas and... I suppose Chinese food and whatever. I mean, I, I've got a, I've got a supply, so I, I'm not calling calling these places. Or you could just go to the drive up window and get a box of shit and take it with you. I, I I don't know. When the time comes, I'll find out. But right now, I don't care. So, biggest problem we see here is that women are going to have to pay for their own food for a while. They can order takeout maybe, but they're gonna have to pay for it. Well, except for the monkey simpanzees. Oh, honey, I'll bring you peanut butter. Do you need some tampons? Here's my last roll of toilet paper, but you can have it because I love you. <laughs> you can almost imagine. You can imagine a guy doing that. A beta orbiting friend zone dude. Maybe this is my chance. I can get a sniff if I give her some toilet paper. Yeah, good luck with that. You're bringing the toilet paper just like always. And Chad is leaving out the back door just having banged it out for hours. <laughs> he didn't bring any food. Oh my goodness. Crazy times we live in, isn't it? James Maxwell. Thank you for listening.